Hey Vipers fans, Graham Turnbull here with you. It's your Vernon Viper Weekly Report brought to you by Back to Earth. And as we set the scene for the playoffs, which are just around the corner, we bring in head coach and general manager of the Vipers, Jason McKee, to talk about uh, the weekend that's coming. You play 54 games, Jason. It's a marathon of a season. And, you know, ironically enough, just like last year, you finish in the same spot. It's a lot closer. You draw the West Kelowna Warriors. How excited uh, is the group this week to be practicing in preparation for game one on Friday? Yeah, it's the most exciting time of the year. Um, so we've uh, we've earned an opportunity to play in the playoffs, and I think that uh, you know our, our division is so tight. I, I don't think it uh, you know really mattered who we play. We knew we were going to have a tough opponent, and um, you know anybody can beat anybody. And I think we've seen that all year, and we're excited for this opportunity. And you know, obviously played them last year, and, and have another uh, second chance at it here uh, to play them again here uh, this season. Well, you've got a lot of returning players from that group that obviously remembered what that grind was like in the regular season, and then the uh, five game playoff off exit do they you know do you see that experience as is something that can be valuable to know what that feeling was like last year to know you don't want to feel that again I think it's the feeling but it's also the process we went through there were some things there that we we need to do a better job of this year and um, you know those guys uh, went through that and it's been talked about so um, you know those lessons have been carried forward to some of our, our new players and um, there's some things that we can um, if you're not winning you got to be learning something and I think that we we obviously fell short in that one and uh, I'd like to think we learned something and we're better for it here going into to this year but um, new team for both uh, both teams so you know the outcome of last year has no effect on this year and uh, that's our approach. The playoff hockey is a little bit different. You know, you don't typically see the the high scoring run and gun. The teams that you know can defend and pl and have maybe been used to playing in one goal, two goal hockey games. When you see the same team over and over again, you know, how does your team sort of embrace that role? Because it's something that they've kind of done all year. I like where we're at in regards to that. I think we've uh, it's been a strength of our group all year. We've uh, you know molded that. We we've recognized what we are, and um, at this time of year, you see a lot more of that type of hockey. Now we have a ton of respect for for West Kelowna and their offensive game. There's a lot of things that they do well, um, but I also know that there's a lot of things we do well, and there's things that we can do to hopefully shut them down and and uh, create some momentum uh, going into game one. Ideally, too, you of course love to be at home, but your team's had some success on the road especially in the last half of the year and, and seem comfortable there so obviously not you know worried too much about what it's going to be like in game one how do you like the way your team prepares for their games on the road yeah, much better in the second half, and even the games there, we we've played really well. I think it was a you know a couple shootout losses, and you know we're probably you know on the wrong side of the score, but maybe you know overall played better. So um, it all evens out in the end. But I, I like the way we've played in that building this year, and um, you know we're used to it, and we play there a lot. So um, you know we're a confident group going into to game one. It's an exciting time. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks, Graham. Game one starts, and we can't wait. Just around the corner, Friday night at Royal Page Place, seven o'clock puck drop between the Vipers and the. Warriors game one. If you can't make it to West Kelowna, although it is just a short drive, you can catch all the action on BCHL TV and 107.5 Beach Radio. We'll start the pregame show at 645. The same will go for Saturday night game two once again at Royal LePage Place with the puck drop at seven. The series will switch back to Vernon for games three and four on Tuesday and Wednesday night at seven o'clock. And fantastic news, kids get in for free when accompanied by an adult. Now those kids tickets have to be purchased at the box office, but what's better than free? Not much. Again, if you're a season ticket holder, you have until noon on game day to secure your seat for games three and four. Otherwise, they'll go up for sale to the general public. The playoffs are here. Can't wait for it. We'll see you at the rink. The Weekly Report is brought to you by Back to Earth, handcrafted, earth-friendly specialty products to support your health and well-being. Learn more at GetBackToEarth.com.